and a very top of the day to you. My name is Chia Di Undu. I'm a counseling psychologist, a wife of over 25 years, and a mother of about the same number of years. Above all of this, I'm a woman. That's why I understand that it takes a woman, only a woman, to understand and nurture another woman. Because women must liaise and support one another. In fact, women must arise. Arise empowers women through quality information, skills acquisition, provision of free medical treatment, and screening services using our Arise mobile clinics. On the 31st of October 2015, something big is coming. A holy gathering of Nigerian women overflowing with enlightenment, refreshment, and empowerment. This will be the seventh edition of the Arise Conference. The theme for this year's Arise Conference is the set time. And I promise you, the set time is now. Tell me, where would you rather be on the 31st of October 2015? Good morning, church, and welcome to this week's edition of the COD News. My name is Ade Doreen Sola. This Tuesday, starting from 6.30 p.m., we will be in the sanctuary for another engaging Digging for Gold service. Remember to invite your friends and colleagues to this service. Starting from 12.30 p.m. this Wednesday, the Handmaidens of the Lord will be fellowshipping and discussing the topic, Workout. Ladies, please make time to attend. It's only 20 more days to the 7th edition of the Arise Women's Conference. The conference tag, The Set Time, will take place on the 31st of October and would see women from all walks of life converge in this sanctuary. Please reach out to your friends and families to make it a date as the set time for favor, increase and other bountiful blessings has come. The prayer, praise and Pentecost service holds this Thursday by 6.30pm here in the sanctuary. Then on Friday, it will be time to bring down the walls of Jericho as we lift up a praise offering unto God at our His Lord Praise Hour starting from noon. To watch us live, remember you can access the streaming link on the church website at www.cityofdavidng.org. God is only present. He is everywhere. But when His abiding presence descends, and there is a physical manifestation of His Majesty, dominion, and power. Whenever the invisible God becomes visible, this is the Shekinah glory. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2015 Night of Worship. Welcome to His Shekinah glory. Featuring William McDowell. Fegara, BJ Sachs, Voices in Zion, The Sounds of Heaven, and The Psalmists at the Fidelity Bank Car Park or by the Wonyu Street off the Palm Shoprite Road, Victoria Island, Lagos on November the 20th, 2015 from 8 p.m. till dawn. For more information, log on to www.nightofworshiponline.org. It is going to be a night of worship. All ministers should please note that the Provincial Ministers Conference will start this Thursday, 15th of October, and end on Saturday, the 17th of October. The conference tagged Thriving in Difficult Situations will hold here in the sanctuary, starting from 6 p.m. every day, except the Saturday session, which starts at 7 a.m. The COD marriage course is set to begin. If you're married and you've never attended, you don't know what you're missing. In fact, I thought it was a course that will help uh, 
uh, marriages that were that had problems, not not exactly what we found out. Sincerely, um, I've been able to sort out the issues of priority. My my wife and my um, family. You know, I, I used to juggle within the two of them, my family, my wife. I make decisions based on what I've discussed with my family. And for me, another one thing I've learned is that since she really does it, just let her have it. So we are also, it uh, made us to uh, realize all the, the vows we took for seven years ago. And also in the area of sex, I know most of the times, especially the way that we're brought up in conservative rural, rural areas, we don't want to talk about sex. But I'm happy that it's been an issue that was discussed elaborately. I'm a nephrologist and I see the burden of, of dialysis on um, kidney patients is quite enormous. And it is obvious that no single person can cope with the costs of doing dialysis on a regular basis. And uh, one of the things that you people have done is to make the burden lighter for the people who are um, working with dialysis and um, those who are actually doing dialysis. And I can tell you that um, your efforts will never go unrewarded. We are benefiting from this and we all are contributing in our own little way to make sure that these patients get the best that they can get around here. We want to thank you, we appreciate you, and God bless you all. month, the month of fulfillment, God will turn all your seeds to fruit and give you the answer you've been waiting for. Have a fantastic week. God bless you. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true, where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today.